Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. It's only with your support that we can make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thank you for all the love that you've given us. Now, let's continue. Have you ever been told that you seem intimidating? Did it bother you or possibly confuse you about why they said that? You might be subconsciously doing certain things that make your personality come across as more intimidating than you want it to be. Please remember that many of these signs and behaviors aren't negative. And though they might make you seem intimidating, it doesn't necessarily mean you should change anything about yourself or who you are. Wondering if this applies to you? Here are eight signs that your personality might be intimidating to others. Number one, you're snappy or reactive. Do you snap at people easily? When you hear about something you don't like, do you react hastily? Being snappy can come across as intimidating because people may feel like you're unapproachable or difficult to talk to, even when you don't mean to be. Having strong opinions and snapping at others when things don't go your way might make you seem intimidating. Next time you find yourself about to snap, take a step back and take a deep breath before reacting. You'd be surprised at how quickly you relax and how much more approachable it'll make you seem. Number two, you think with your head. Are you extremely practical? Do you base most of your decisions on pure logic? If so, you might be more prone to thinking with your head. Though this quality in itself doesn't necessarily make you intimidating, thinking less with your heart may make you less emotionally aware in certain situations. And as a result, you may come off as having an intimidating personality. Number three, you're persistent. Do you set high goals for yourself? Do you work extremely hard to achieve those goals? If you do, you're likely a very persistent person, which can be seen as intimidating. Persistence and perseverance aren't bad traits. When you persist, it shows that you have great confidence in your abilities, and it might be intimidating for others to see that side of you. But you just have big goals and won't let anything or anyone stand in your way. Number four, people seem to tiptoe around you. Have you noticed that people tend to clam up around you and seem possibly afraid to speak their minds? They might be tiptoeing around you and are being cautious and careful about what they say while in your presence. If you notice this happening to you, it may seem like people go quiet, agree with everything you say, and even apologize to you more frequently. Number five, you tend to dominate conversations. When you talk with your friends, do you talk the most or the loudest? This could be a sign that your personality seems intimidating. Dominating conversations can look like talking excessively or more loudly than everyone else and cutting people off mid-conversation. When you dominate a conversation, it can make it harder for others to express themselves around you. This is a tendency that can happen subconsciously and it could even be a sign of anxiety. So if you relate to this, don't feel bad or like it's your fault. Instead, try and practice active listening in your conversations so you'll be more attentive and present than how you're acting before. Number six, you speak in an aggressive tone. When you talk with others, how do you normally come across? Are you aggressive and direct or are you more light and gentle? No matter what you say, your tone of voice can make a huge difference in how you're received. When you speak with an assertive, aggressive or direct tone, this can come across as intimidating. This could take a toll on the way people perceive your ideas and opinions. Do you find yourself speaking with a tone that's more aggressive than you'd like? If so, how do you plan to become more mindful of how things may be received before you say them? It might take time, but gradually, you'll come across as more approachable with a more gentle tone. Number seven, you're critical of others. When interacting with others, do you tend to judge, dissect, or criticize what they say? While you may come across as intelligent, you'll likely also come across as intimidating to be around. According to psychiatrist Grant Hillary Brenner, insulting others during a conversation, even in a joking manner, can make you come across as judgmental and competitive. Competitiveness can be off-putting. So if people feel that way in conversations with you, they may be less likely to view you as approachable. And number eight, you are straightforward. Are you unafraid to speak your mind Speaking your mind outright and avoiding dancing around the truth is not a bad thing. In fact, it can improve communication in your day-to-day -day life. Speaking your mind is a good trait to have as long as you make sure what you say is tactful and constructive. Did you relate to any of the points in this video or do any of these signs remind you of someone? 
Do you have any signs of an intimidating personality that you'd like to add? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think you could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.